Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel, where I talk about everything related to The Chosen, the first ever multi-season series about the life of Jesus. Today, I'm going to share with you some spoilers and predictions for the upcoming episodes of Season 4, which will be in theaters for the next two weeks. If you haven't seen the first three episodes yet, you might want to skip this video, because I'm going to reveal some major plot twists that will shock you. You have been warned. The first three episodes of Season 4 were amazing, and they covered some of the most dramatic events in the Gospels. We saw the banquet of Herod, where his stepdaughter danced for him and asked for the head of John the Baptist as a reward. We saw the reaction of Jesus and the disciples to the news of John's death, and how they tried to find some rest in a secluded place. We saw Matthew and Simon Peter reconcile their differences, and the group travel to Caesarea Philippi, the gates of hell, where Simon confessed Jesus as the Messiah and received his new name, Peter. He also became the leader of the Twelve, as Jesus entrusted him with the keys of the kingdom. But the most shocking scene was at the end of episode 3, where Jesus had a public debate and confrontation with the Pharisees, including Rabbi Akiva, in front of a large crowd. This scene was partially shown by Dallas Jenkins, the creator of the show, a few months ago, and it was intense. Jesus exposed the hypocrisy and corruption of the religious leaders, and they were furious. They wanted to arrest him, but they were afraid of the people. Quintus, the Roman governor, who was also there, lost his temper and ordered Gaius, his loyal soldier, to arrest Jesus. But Gaius refused, three times, showing his loyalty to Jesus and his faith in him. This was an amazing character development for Gaius, who used to be a ruthless and cynical man. Quintus then ordered his other men to arrest Jesus, but they were met with resistance from the crowd. Quintus himself got involved in the scuffle, and in a fit of rage, he killed Rama, the young boy who was friends with Gaius and Jesus. This was a heartbreaking moment, and it left us all speechless. How could Dallas do this to us? How could he kill such a sweet and innocent character? I'm still in shock, and I don't know how I'll cope with watching this scene again. I'm glad I have some time to prepare myself emotionally before the episodes come to streaming. Now, what will happen next? What will be the consequences of Quintus' actions? What will happen to Gaius, after he defied his orders? Well, I have some clues and hints from the scenes that have been released or teased by the chosen team. One picture that they shared shows Gaius smiling and looking very happy. He's glowing, literally. I don't know if this is because he finally witnessed the miracle that he's been waiting for, or because he got promoted at his job. Maybe both. Maybe after Quintus killed Rama, he realized his mistake and stepped down from his position, and Gaius took his place. Maybe he also got to see Jesus heal someone, or perform some other miracle. Maybe he even got baptized by Jesus, or by one of the disciples. This is just a theory, but I hope it's true, because Gaius deserves some happiness after all he's been through. As for the other events that will happen in the remaining episodes, I have some scenes that will guide me. One scene from episode 4 was released a few months ago, and it was a funny and relatable scene. It showed the apostles arguing about the best way to cut a pomegranate, and Jesus getting annoyed by their bickering and going outside, where he sat between little James and Thaddeus. This scene showed the human side of Jesus and the disciples, and how they had some normal and mundane conversations, just like us. It also showed how Jesus needed some peace and quiet sometimes, and how he found comfort in his friends. Another scene that was shown by Dallas in his latest livestream was from the beginning of episode 6, and it was a tense and suspenseful scene. It showed the apostles rushing into a house, looking scared and worried. They were followed by Jesus, who looked calm and confident. They were greeted by a woman, who told them that they were safe there, and that no one knew they were there. She also told them that they had some visitors, who wanted to see Jesus. The scene ended with a cliffhanger, as we didn't get to see who the visitors were, or why they wanted to see Jesus. Dallas said that this scene was the episode 6 opener, and that it was one of his favorite scenes of the season. He also said that it was based on a true story from the Bible, and that it involved some characters that we haven't seen before on the show. I'm very curious and excited to see who these visitors are, and what they have to say to Jesus. 
Maybe they are some of the Pharisees who secretly believed in him, like Nicodemus or Joseph of Arimathea. Ma, I they are some of the people who were healed by Jesus or witnessed his miracles. Maybe they are some of his family members, like his mother Mary or his brothers James and Jude. Maybe they are some of his enemies who came to challenge him or betray him. I don't know, but I can't wait to find out. So, these are some of the things that you can expect from the next batch of episodes of The Chosen Season 4. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Also, let me know in the comments what you think will happen in the remaining episodes, and what you are most looking forward to seeing. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. God bless you.